Hi there, it is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're up in our master bedroom. I decided I wanted to do a little bit of spring cleaning in here. I'm ready to say goodbye to the flannel sheets and bring out just our regular like spring and summer sheets. And so I just decided to do a full on cleaning in here as well as just add a few pieces of spring decor. The first thing I wanted to do was dust off our ceiling fan. This is on top of the blades. It gets so dusty up there and I can honestly say I do not do a good job of keeping them clean. So I'm going to be using the Method Wood for Good Cleaner on them. It smells so good and just wiping off all of the fan blades. But as you can see there, I also kept like our mattress pad on the bed just so if anything was to fall, I could just quickly clean it up and throw it in the washing machine. Next up, I am just spraying our mattress with the Norwex mattress cleaner. It is one of my favorite things that Norwex has. I always repurchase it when I run out, but I just give a quick few sprays and then I just turn my ceiling fan on high to air it out. I think they say to leave it dry out for like four hours or something like that. So that gives me plenty of time to get my sheets all washed and ready to go. I actually did an entire master bedroom makeover video a few months ago and I can link that above if you have not seen that already and basically what I did was I painted the walls changed the furniture out and the decor and it turned out really good really happy with it all so I'm not going to be changing everything out completely I just want to add a few touches of spring here and there If you remember back when I did my bedroom makeover, I really was not sure about these wall sconces and honestly, I still am not. I don't know that I love them up there, but I also feel like it's missing something when they're not. So my plan is to at least get them cleaned up. They were pretty dusty and hang them back up. I wanted to actually put them up just a little bit higher. So I do end up doing that as well, but you'll have to let me know what you think. Do you like the sconces above the bed or do you like just the sign or what else could I add or change? But there's something cold in the way you are The things you said Had me going good but I left a scar You invite me and then you turn me down Get my hopes up and then you're gone I fall for every word that you say to me So hard, being drawn to you so easily I am stuck in a loop of chemicals What's the point? Never call me 
I always get lots of comments on our TV whenever I share our dresser and we just really like having it there. Everyone always says that we should mount it on the wall or move it off the dresser because it blocks the mirror. Honestly, it doesn't bother me there. We've always had it on our dresser, kind of right in that spot in our room, just with how the layout of the room works. It's just the best spot for it. It's really not big enough to mount on the wall and I really don't think we need a larger TV in here. It kind of works out just fine the way it is. So we just kind of deal with it. But anyways, I'm just wiping down all of the decor and adding it back to the dresser. And then once I have pretty much all of my cleaning done, I will bring out some of my spring decorations that I also plan to add. Cleaning windows and blinds is, I think I mentioned before, one of my least favorite things about spring cleaning, but it has to get done. And I was honestly surprised how not dusty these blinds up here were. Normally they are just covered in dust. So I guess I'm doing something right. I don't know, maybe I actually cleaned them back when I did my room makeover. I am not sure. So halfway through, I just kind of was like, ah, I'm just gonna give them a quick wipe down and we'll call it good. I will try to link below in the description box as much as I possibly can. I usually try to do that, but the sheets that I use are just very standard, basic white ones that we have had. I do recommend them. They're very soft and they've held up very well over the past couple of years that we have had them. So I'll do that and then I'm just using the same comforter that we always have on our bed. I am curious, do you switch out your comforter or bedspread? for spring and summer. I don't, however, it has crossed my mind that I should. So let me know if you do. Let's talk pillows for a little bit, shall we? So I am a side sleeper and I like a firm pillow. I do not like down feather filled ones. It has to be nice and firm. So this one I actually got off of Amazon back in January, I believe. I love it. If you are looking for a pillow that doesn't go flat on you, I think it's called a shredded memory foam pillow. Definitely try this one out. It's definitely worth it. I'm just adding these yellow pillows that I've had for years on my bed. And also I struggle to drape a blanket on the end, but I'm just really liking the pops of yellow. Baby, let's feel every heartbeat. I'll be yours till the I used to do a lot of decorating in our home with yellow, so I had quite a bit in my stash to use for this. $2 from Goodwill, that little arrangement, and then this one I've had from Target for, I think, I don't even know, four or five years, but I still love them. And these candlesticks I picked up from Wayfair, and I'm, like I said, just all things that I wasn't using in other parts of our home. So I'm just going to play around, add just little touches here and there. I don't feel like you need to go all out, especially in a bedroom, but just little pops of color here and there can make a big impact. I 
I hope that this video not only brings you some cleaning motivation, but also some new ideas on how to freshen up some of your decor using pieces that you already have, whether it be tucked away in a bin or just from another room in your house, just adding little pops of color, especially yellow right now. It's a happy color. We all need some happy can completely change the look of your room. I know I have been trying to think outside the box as far as using things that I already had. This is one of those items. I decided to try this. I think it's a cupcake stand from the Hobby Lobby Easter section. I'm like, I'm gonna put my jewelry in there. And I like that a whole lot better than what I had before. Facing all the sunlight While our feet swung freely from the bridge The bridge You asked if I'd save you If you were crazy enough to take a swim A swim I tried, tried to make you see That my shoulder is ready for you if you are enjoying today's video, please do not forget to leave me a thumbs up as well as subscribe if you are new here. I am posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I usually will share a typical day at home with our kids. I am a stay-at-home mom to four as well as lots of home decor. So if that's something that you're interested, definitely stick around. I have another video coming up this week yet. It is our son's bedroom makeover and I can't wait to share with you how it turned out. I'm faithful like a blind girl. One of the best investments that we have made this year has to be this carpet cleaner. I held off so long on buying one and finally did and I have used it so much. I think I've actually cleaned this room three times since we got it. I wasn't even thinking it was going to be that dirty but you will see here in a little bit how disgusting the water actually was. So I'm glad that I was able to get this accomplished. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm also hoping that you are staying safe at home if you are able to and well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.